up everybody it's VR gamer dude here and tonight I am freaking excited to show you this so I want to thank Drew over at head trip games for sending this one my way because man let me tell you I've been waiting for this one for a while uh, first footage I saw of this I think was back in the DK1 days. Uh, it really, really blew me away. I remember watching that video and going, damn, I have got to play that game. Uh, and lo and behold, today it came out, Early Access on Steam. So don't worry, I'm going to throw a link down in the description for anybody who might want to try this one for themselves. But if this menu is any indication of how the game is going to look, wow. Uh, one of the coolest menus I've been in in a while. So, whoa, hey, well, that was really neat. All right, so let me stop jabbering about it and let's just jump in and take a look. Welcome to IO Moon, a virtual reality exploratory experience. You start your adventure on the space station I.O. Make sure to visit each kiosk to learn more about your adventure. Okay, so the there's our probe. ship. Learn to or operate probe, your exploratory sorry. vehicles. Three optional control modes. No, what do we got? One, comfort turn with smooth movement. Oh, hell no. Two, Teleport mode with comfort turning. Oh, double hell no. Three, smooth mode. There smooth you go. Turning. Thank you so much for leaving that in. Cannot stand it when games come out and they Explore only give the comfort mode your option. Onboard radar system to search for items of interest. Learning to comfortably control your Delta Probe is important for enjoying your adventure. Okay. Well, so it looks like we got most of the standard type controls here. We got flares, pro, boost. Okay, gotcha. I think I got this. All right. Oh, so excited to see this. All right. Wow. Welcome to Space Station. Okay, the detail Here inside this cockpit is insanely good. To learn about your upcoming adventure. Oh man, I want I want motion controls. I want to reach out and flip all these little levers and punch all these little buttons. Okay, so let's see. Oh, looks like I'm in comfort mode. So let's change that. Smooth turn mode activated. There we go. Right, let's see. Radar is off. So nope, that was picture. There we go. There's radar. Oh, nice 3D radar. Nice. Okay, so let's go learn how to control our probe, shall we? Oh, man, these graphics look really good in the CV-1. Now, obviously, I am getting the God Rays. I'm starting to get over that. Um, I have actually kind of found a little trick, uh, kind of the ergonomics of the headset. I, I think I was wearing it a little too high. So kind of moved that uh, triangle down back further on my head, and that seems to have helped just a little bit. Uh, but man, the God Ray's got to go. Not the fault of this game, not the fault of the dev. We all know that. Um, but man, they got to go. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about the God Ray. I, I won't complain about it through the whole video, I promise. But... Uh, I will say, when I got my CV-1 last week, that is the one thing that stuck with me that I still just am having problems getting past. The full unimpeded view when pushing the X or blue button. Oh, cool. You can make the probe disappear. Intelligence companion and the photons fierce there. Wow, okay, now. Nice. 
I do like the cockpit though, so I think we'll leave the cockpit on. The scientist's brain is removed and suspended in a nanomolecular nature. I'm just a sucker for eye candy, and damn, I'm getting a lot of eye candy right now. This is great. The radiation from Jupiter would have removed water from the surface of Io within 10 million years, but life could have retreated underground where water might still be abundant, and geothermal activity and sulfur compounds could provide microbes with sufficient energy to survive. This is target delta, Io moon. Okay. On Io might have made and, habitat you know, I haven't really commented on this in a lot of my videos since I got the CB1, but the sound, wow, god, that's awesome, how the sound stage moves when I turn my head and it just it, it sounds so damn natural. I'm loving that. Well, let's go explore. Blips are items to be found. Examine and photograph. Red blips are presumed to cause damage to the probe upon contact. Okay, so we got no red blips, that's good. Which the explorer can manipulate. Green blips are items or areas for health restoration. Okay. This is your onboard radar. The blue blips are on. So the system. It has been viewed from Earth for thousands of years. The larger moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto were first recorded by Galileo and are called the Galilean moons. The moon, Io, is the closest. Jupiter and our exploration mission target. Okay, I think I've hit all the kiosks now, so let's see what we can do here. I think that's our station there. God, these holographic displays look cool. Sorry, I know I'm geeking out on this one, but this is right up my alley. I mean, sci-fi exploration with a little bit of a danger element. Taking it. To pick up and examine objects on Io, push and hold your left bumper button. To throw an object that is held, push the right bump and button. Click your right stick to take a photograph for later review and as evidence in the search for life on Io. Use your X button to hide and unhide your craft. Now what are these? He shoots, he misses. All right, hold on. Do that a couple more times here. No, way off base. Well, obviously a basketball player I ain't. All right. Let's see. Oh, I wonder. Can I throw them at these targets? ka -tong! Yep. Ah, hey, come back. Man, I suck. It's the photon flares. Fear is excited. No, I wanted to hear about the photon flares. Okay, I wonder if that's a little bit of an audio glitch there. Let's see, I think I've got photon flares. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's going to light up areas, it looks like. Alright. The photon flares. There we go. is a scientific anomaly discovered by our team of advanced engineers. It has properties that can attract objects and gives off light to illuminate dark areas. You may hold your flare using the left bumper. Holding the photon sphere provides you with a lantern to investigate dark areas by throwing or holding. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we throw it out there, and now we've got a flashlight. Ah, but they go away. Interesting.
ascend the ramp to enter the pod. I don't know, if I enter the pod, you're gonna take my brain out. It's kind of freaky ascend sounding. Ascend the ramp to enter the pod. Okay, here we go. Press a button to begin my mission. Press start to skip at any point. Oh, okay, now I'm in a different pod here. Cool. All right. Oh, or maybe it's the same one and it just looks different. I don't know. Wow, the depth of this hallway is incredibly long. Oh, hell yeah! Wow! Yes! Oh, and that music! The chatter! Oh, this is awesome! This is it, folks! This is my idea of virtual freaking reality right here! Oh, man! I mean... The companion pod ship just ahead of you will track your movements during exploration and will assist should you become separated. Okay, so I obviously I don't have any control at this point. I'm on rails, but... Wow! God, these visuals are stunning! Uh oh. Hey, nah, -uh. no, we don't want to do that. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Have I mentioned the audio? God, the audio is good in this. Attention, this is AR Support Unit 1. All systems satisfactory. The blip markers on the probe radar indicate areas and items of interest. Investigate the areas. Pay attention to blue blips. Pick up items and Teleport capture images of your discoveries. Not all items of interest are provided on your radar. To better view your surroundings, press your X or blue button to temporarily hide the probe interior from your vision. Make sure to explore IO thoroughly. You may return to this area to repeat this message. Switching to AR companion mode. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, what's going on? Man, God, look at this. I know, I'm babbling like a freaking idiot, but Jesus Christ, this is awesome. Attention, this is AR Support Unit 1. All systems. Okay. So what was it? The blue stuff I wanted to take pictures of? Cool, and then you see your photo up there. That's neat. Whoa, whoa! Now, this is very similar right here to the video that I saw way back in the day. Oh, look at that ground, like, bubbling and stuff. Uh, that's neat! Anyway, this is very similar to the video, like I said, that I saw back in the day that got me extremely jazzed to see this game. Okay, so there is no up and down, so it looks like just side to side movement. You got a little strafe here, you got a turn and a forward back. Here. 
Oh, lava. Lava's not good. Okay, it's not filling up. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, we should probably get the hell out of Dodge here before we get damaged. I wanted to pick up the green thing, though. Look at that! Now, granted, a little critique, that, that doesn't look so liquid. Um, grant, you know, keep in mind this is early access. But, wow. Good job. Be careful. Okay, so you don't have to Use pick it up. Use your flare by pushing the A or green button. Catch and hold your flare using your left bumper. The lighting in here is great. Whoa! What was that? Oh, God. those lasted just a little bit longer oh man okay that lighting effect down there is insanely cool Collect evidence of life on IO. Press your right stick to take pictures for review later. Your flare can be used to attract life. It's an eyeball rock. Okay, so... Wow. Alright. I know you guys are probably going, you know, on this one, Don, you can keep going, but to keep the video at a decent length, I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here. I think everybody gets the gist of how awesome this is going to be in VR, but man, let me tell you, Drew, Head Trip Games, you guys nailed it. This is amazing. Ah, oh, I can't wait to start showing this off to everybody. And I cannot wait to see this mature. I mean, it's early access, guys. Uh, anyway, 
All right, I'm gonna quit going on like a frickin' little goofy fanboy of sci-fi exploration games here, but uh, if you have a uh, CV1, 20 bucks, go to Steam, show them some love, grab a copy of this for yourself. Uh, I, I, I mean, I've played the game for 20 minutes and, and I'm already hooked. I cannot wait to explore these environments. So anyway, that's going to do it for me tonight. But as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching to the end of this video. If you did, man, that really means a lot to me. And if this was your first time coming in, that means more to me than you could ever imagine. So thank you for coming by and checking out what I do here on my channel. And if you want to see more cool stuff like this, man, smash that subscribe button. Come along for the ride. And obviously, if you're already a subscriber, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we have passed 2,000 subscribers now, and I... I never really thought I'd do this. It's amazing to me that you guys keep wanting to come back and watch me play games every day. But uh, anyway, thanks for doing it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. For me, this is VR Gamer Dude. I'm out. I'm going to go explore this planet some more. All right. See you next time. Peace.